Are you kidding me? That looks great. Sorry, I'll clean you up, but like... Oh my God. Hello everyone, my name is Tucker and welcome to my tiny messy kitchen. Look at this thing. I'm also, I'm a big guy. So, I mean, maybe it would be less tiny for you, but like, come on now, look, ready? I'm opening. It's so tiny. So a little backstory about me in this household. I am the messy roommate and my roommate is very, very clean. So he has challenged me to utilize the space in a way that makes us both happy. So he has challenged me to transform the kitchen by using techniques, hacks, items I found online to make the kitchen more usable and clean and you know what? Make this tiny kitchen work for us. We're, oh, you can't see the sink, right? Hey, camera up. No, that is off limits. It is time we transform this kitchen into something that is beautiful and utile. Is that the word? Uh, okay, let's get started. So when poking around online, something I consistently saw was to use shelves. Okay, we're not working with much space here, but we got a lot of vertical space here. Look at this, right? Okay, so as much as this affirmation wall, to-do list, photo wall has been nice to look at, it's time to get rid of it, throw up some shelves, and let's get rid of this affirmation wall. Sorry, mom, <laughs> you're out. <laughs> Okay, the shelves are up. I mean, and they're looking sturdy as ever. That'll hold a small child. I did need a little help from producer Mike, thank you. It was a little more labor intensive than expected. Hopefully that's like the hardest thing we'll be doing today. Let's make sure that these actually, this does work. I don't know, I don't trust myself, but. Come on now. This is heavy too. Could only do so many reps of these, okay? So that works. That looks great. Okay, let's try some other things. So I found online these magnetic spice holders. Look at this. Are you kidding me? I can't get enough. It also came with these little labels. So like you got everything here. You got all purpose, all spice, caraway. Not quite sure what that one is. I don't have all of those, but I do have my spices here from this messy cabinet. So this is gonna clear up a lot of space. I'm thinking like line them here because then this thing opens with ease. Let's add some more. What should we do? Okay, ground cinnamon for sure next because I'm starting with the ones that I use often. And by often, I mean once a year because I like never cook. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, let's talk knives. This is the current knife stitch. It's a free for all. We just throw like the cutting knives and stuff in here. We got a whisk in here. We got a knife in here. So that needs to change. The steps to fix that would be like a knife block, but no, we can't have that now, can we? Because like, where's the counter space? So a fun solution, going back to our magnetic theme, is a little magnetic knife bar. Slap this bad boy on the fridge. And now we can start hanging up some of our loose knives because we're adults and that's what an adult would do. That's not, hold on. Okay, that part sticks. There you go. Look at that. If I have eyes on the knives, I can be careful, but when they're in here, I don't have eyes on them. Who knows what they're gonna do? That's fantastic. I'm loving this. Okay, it's time we go under the sink. Our current situation under the sink is kind of just, you know, throw it under there, close it and forget about it. So that probably has to change. We have a couple things that we can do that we're working with. We have a little overhang basket. We have a little command. Oh my God, if I didn't break it, we have a little command strip basket that also can be placed. And then we also have a little extra storage area and get this, ready for this, ready to be blown away. Oh wait, oh, I'm holding it the wrong way. <laughs> a little slide out storage. I think that my method here is gonna be like, what do we use the most under this sink? What do we not use a lot? Because the dishwasher's right here, I slap this over here. Like, what if? Like, what if? Okay, so now in here, look, we, again, we're working with that vertical space now. Come on. Literally stop, everyone stop, stop rolling. Are you kidding me? I have an idea, I have an idea, stick with me. Here we go. Come. The two things I use most, dishwasher, getting uh, the trash bag, 1000% not what that's for, but it works for me and my household, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna put the little caddy up, give me like four hours. This is incredible. Look at the amount of space I have in there now. 
So much space, I could throw a party for 10. So, in an effort to clean up our silverware drawer that had just a bunch of measuring cups kind of laying about, we thought, hey, why not work with a hook or two, okay? A hook or two. <laughs> that, <laughs> sorry about that. So, here we have a wonderful six hooked thing. My vision is to slap this up here, stick it down, and just kind of have these things dangle. And then look at this, ready, ready? It'll, well, it'll be stuck in there, so obviously that won't happen, but I mean, that just clears up some space. And it's cute. If you're wearing socks, you might want to preemptively take them off because they're about to be blown off. We got it at Ikea and, ready for this, ready for this? It's like an accordion. You may be thinking, what in the world could that be? It's, it's to hold your pot lids. So our current method is kind of what some would call a scavenger hunt. It's a free for all. It's a graveyard even. I'm thinking we line up in ascending order just because that is so slay to do. It would probably look better with your like matching pot set, but you know what? That's okay. Play with how big or small you want it. I'm gonna drop all of these and they're gonna break. So I'm gonna put this down night and day. Oh, that looks fantastic. So it has come to my attention that I have the wrong storage things in here. I'm pretty sure that I've been using like your classic like fork spoon knife holder thing in here. No wonder nothing fits. Like that's not the right storage thing. We got a new storage container and I'm thinking that this one will work better because it actually has room to put stuff in it as opposed to this. Like what? Sorry, sorry, I'll clean you up, but like, Oh my God, we're good. We're gonna put this thing in here. And then that way now we have some space to put our like oven mitt. And then we also have space to like put our actual utensils. I can't wait to show my roommate. This poor, poor space cupboard needs a little love too, people. It is a nightmare in there. Look at this, ready? Ah! So we're gonna free up that room right now with the shelf. Stuff can go under, stuff can go on top, stuff can go to the side. Ah, uh, where to start? My goodness, half of this video I feel like is me just realizing I don't need half of the stuff in these cupboards, so I just have to throw it out. Oh my God, that's so much oil, so gross. Look at that! Okay, so we're gonna put this stuff now in here so organized, so organized. Maybe I'll put like stuff that I've literally never looked at in my life, maybe towards the back. I might get more shelves, because why not? I mean, look at that. I went from boom, boom, boom to boom, 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 boom. I have a real treat for everyone now. Look at this space. Look at this space, dead, empty even. So why not put a little cart? Maybe it's on wheels, maybe it's not. What we have here is wonderful. Why, you ask? We have some counter space. We have some drawers. I mean, world's your oyster. It doesn't matter how you're opening it. It opens on both sides. Slap this bad boy right over here. Now that we have our little cart here, we're gonna deck it out with some goodies. We have a couple cutting boards in our household, but like this, oh my, I mean, you could snap this in half. They're not quality, they're kind of small. I invested in a quality cutting board that also maximizes the space. So this thing can hang over the sink. So, uh, you know, you're washing your strawberries, right? And boom, you're doing that over here, boom, boom, bang. Or maybe you're chopping up some tomatoes. You got so much juice everywhere. You need to slide that baby off. Oh, you don't want this here? Get rid of it. This thing is so cool, because look at this, ready? Ready? That is so much. Okay, so I love this. Basically like a little Tupperware vibe, something you could store stuff in, and I love that it, it's expandable. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay, so maybe you want a little big opening here and then a little drainage also. Do whatever the gosh darn heck you want, people, because this thing is so versatile. So I was just asked where my baking sheets are and I was like, where are they, where are they? And I remembered we put them in the oven and then it came to my attention. I was informed that I have this storage under here. That's what that is for. I was just, I don't, I can't even tell you what I was thinking because I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. An easy cool trick to really maximize your space. Now I don't have to worry about burning my hands off every time I go get a baking sheet. Easy peasy. Well, there you have it. This has been a long day, I will admit. This place was a mess before. I think that we used a lot of fun methods and just general cleaning up the space, as well as adding a few fun flares. I mean, come on. 
fun. I think we did a great job. I do think that my roommate is going to be very pleased with me. So let me know what your favorite part was, which of these methods you want to use, which of these methods you already use currently, and hey, any methods I missed, because Lord knows I missed a lot, I'm sure. There's so many things out there. So let me know. Have a good one, everyone. Mwah, mwah.